Hi everyone and thanks for joining us today on another video on Wavelab and mastering. My name is Dom and I'm a music producer, mixing and mastering engineer based here in London. And on this video, I'm going to talk about five tools in Wavelab that are really important when you do mastering. Mastering requires a very different workflow than what you would normally need in a DAW. And today I'm going to show you how Wavelab can help you take your mastering to the next level. Number one is the audio montage. Wavelab's audio montage can be used to create a compilation of multiple audio files, perfect to compare different files with each other, create crossfades, and prepare your music to be burned on CD or exported to other destinations. So here's how the audio montage looks like, and what's special about it is that it's a great environment if you want to master your album or your EP, a compilation of files basically, because you can do everything that you want. So you can audition your files, compare them with each other, do very, very easy level automations like this, and you can immediately see the waveform updating. You can create crossfades very easily, so you don't even need to worry about your crossfading. Wavelab does everything for you, like that. The second great thing about the montage is that you have multiple levels of gain staging, of effects. So if I go to the effects tab, you can see that I have clip-based effects that are specific to every single audio file in the montage. I also have track effects, which means that this track, for example, can have completely different effects to this track. This is great for stem mastering, for example. And then we have the output effects, which apply to the whole of the montage. And of course, you have very flexible routing when it comes to your effects. For example, you can set them as an insert or as send, or you can even create parallel effects with any plugin that you have in Wavelab. So the processing capabilities in the audio montage environment are really immense, really, really powerful too. Number two, full mid-side capabilities, MS. It's the secret of mastering engineers all plugins in Wavelab can become mid-side plugins, which means I can take any plugin, either internal, like this compressor, for example, or a third-party plugin. For example, I can add this third-party Slate Digital FG Gray compressor, which on its own, it's not a mid-side plugin, but when I am inside the Wavelab environment, I can just click on this icon right here, and I can turn this into a mid-side plugin, which means now I can compress the mid-side signal, or I can compress and process the side signal only, which gives me lots of control for shaping the sound of my material and, of course, creating wider mixes, wider masters. And speaking of mid-side processing, even on the waveform view in Wavelab, you can turn this into a mid-side waveform view, which means I can see my mid-signal right here, and I can also see my side signal right here. And I can also audition them, so I can listen to the mid signal there and the side signal which is something that you can only do in a powerful audio editor like Wavelab. Number three is analysis tools and meters. The metering in Wavelab is really really comprehensive. First of all we have a very powerful level meter that gives you a very quick overview of your peak levels everything that you need to know about your loudness. The loudness meter that gives you the integrated short-term and momentary loudness in real time. Then we have the oscilloscope right here, the wave scope that allows you to check what a plugin does to your waveform in real time. The spectrometer is really detailed and super fast, super responsive. And the live spectrogram allows you to see the entire frequency spectrum and identify problems. Number four, Wavelab lets you know exactly what you're doing to your music. Let me show you a few examples. So right here I have a third-party plugin. This is the MAG4 EQ from Plugin Alliance. Very beautiful EQ. And I want to show you what you can do even with third-party plugins in Wavelab. Let's say I've used this EQ for the mastering that I'm doing on this song right here. So of course what you can do is you can bypass the EQ like this. But what you can do in Wavelab that's really unique is that you can bypass the source signal, which means now when I click on this, I will only get the result of the difference that this plugin does to my music. Let me show you. So when I have all the controls to zero, we hear almost nothing. And then when I add a little bit of EQ, I can hear exactly what frequencies I'm affecting. 
We can even hear what other processors do to our music. Let's try and use this function with this third party compressor here from Slate Digital. So you can even tell what dynamic processes do to your music. Another function that helps tremendously when mastering is the Smart Bypass feature. And what this allows you to do is audition your music with all the processing, but with level correction, which means you won't be fooled by the increase of loudness in your material when you add a limiter or when you add tons of EQ or maybe compression, but you will have a very clear representation of what happens with the processing with a level correction. So the way you do it is you just click on this icon right here and then you bring up Smart Bypass. And now all I need to do is play back the audio and here's my processed audio. Here's my original one. And this is the processed audio. So I can hear that this has a little bit more low end, the processed audio has a little bit more low end, a little bit more low mids, but I can tell straight away if it suffers with dynamics, if I've lost any transients. This is a very, very powerful feature and of course it works with all third party plugins. Number five is the CD creation capabilities and the DDP files player. Wavelab allows you to build audio CDs according to the Redbook standard. And in order to do that, it's extremely simple. You just go to your montage where you have all your files and then you go functions, you use a CD wizard and Wavelab automatically adds all the markers that you need and make sure that the CD is Redbook compatible. Now, if you want to double check your DDP file before you send it off for printing, Wavelab has a DDP files player that allows you to open your DDP file and play it back. So these are five tools in Wavelab that are really useful for professional mastering. Hope you enjoyed this video, hope you found it useful. Let us know in the comments down below what you'd like to see next. And until then, have fun mastering.